Hello pet friends, this is Dr. Shari from Funny Pet Vets and welcome to another episode. In today's video I'm going to show you how to beat your dogs or cats noise phobia caused by fireworks or other sounds at home. A very important thing to consider is that you need to get prepared when it comes to noise phobia. That means that all the solutions I'm going to give you is better to apply them before the stressful event takes place like a fireworks night or um, anything that's stressful to your little pet. Have you ever heard of pheromones before? <laughs> no, you're not going to inject funny hormones to your dog or your cat. These are chemicals that actually work on the brain and they trick nerve cells to actually calm your pet's brain. You can find them in very different uh, kinds. Um, the one that I do prefer is Pet Remedy. Um, this is the brand, it's not sponsored. It comes in two different um, kind of uses. So the first one is a diffuser, which is a plug-in. So you plug it in and then the chemicals come out of here. Um, and then the second one is a little spray with which you can actually um, spray on your dog's or cat's collar, um, on a little t-shirt that you use, but uh, definitely not directly on your dog's or your cat's skin. I must admit that it stinks, it literally stinks, but I have seen it working really well for my own dog for her anxiety. There are different brands out there like Adaptil, again that's not sponsored, but you might want to um, choose your own one. They sometimes come in like packs or starter packs with um, a couple of diffuser refills, the plug diffuser and the spray, so it's up to you what you'd like to choose. Beating noise phobia. Advice number two. So I found really helpful with my own dog to actually mask the sound that comes from outside and causes the phobia and the anxiety with loud music indoors. That could be anything from classical music or any calming music for dogs. Uh, there are plenty of videos you can find on YouTube with relaxing music that it is specially made for dogs and cats. So you can put them a bit louder and that would actually allow your dog to listen only to the music that's played indoors and not the fireworks or the other uh, stimulating, annoying sounds from uh, outdoors. Advice number three. Um, it's very reasonable to think that a cat or a dog would really need to hide from whatever is causing them anxiety. And that's obviously something that you need to support them to and provide them. So make sure that there is a little kind of kennel, a crate, um, something like a little shelter or refugee that you actually make for them. It, you can make it out from their own towels, blankets or anything that feels soft and comfortable uh, and it's a place that can be dark and they can hide away from the noise. It can obviously block and mask the noises as well. So it's a very nice way to um, actually help them with. Extra tip for gadget lover mums and dads. For the car manufacturing company actually is going to launch a noise cancelling kennel shield for dogs, specially made. I'll put a little link on the comments for you to find out more about. Advice number four. You can use non-prescribed or vet prescribed calming tablets for your dogs and cats. The non-prescribed one can be um, actually natural calming tablets that you can find either online or um, your vet can provide them. Some of them that I have used is NutriCalm or UCalm. They all consist of natural um, remedies that can actually help with your dogs and cats anxiety. On the other hand there are vet prescribed products that they are actually sedatives that can be used. I will show you the one that I use for my own dogs but make sure you always consult your vet before you give anything prescription to your dog. Sevil, again it's not sponsored, is what I use for my own dog. Um, this is meant to be for dogs with mild to severe anxiety because it's actually a sedative that comes in a gel form. You can get advice by your own vet on how to apply it, um, but briefly this is a gel that you put on your dog's gum right there. It's absorbed and it can sedate your dog. Um, again, always consult your vet for sedatives and prescription only medication, but in some cases these are, these are much needed to actually help protect. Uh, your lead one from severe anxiety. 
Advice number five, always cuddle and make sure that your dog is in a safe lap. You can always use little treats or other toys that can help them really release their anxiety and keep them uh, distracted from any kind of noise. I really hope you enjoyed today's video as much as Chica is enjoying her little treat. Keep tuned for more videos. Don't forget to subscribe and like our videos so that you can get alerts for the next ones. Take care!